all too often the general population of golfers interfere with the swing. They try to make adjustments during the swing as if, one, those adjustments might help, or two, they might be aware enough and correct that the swing has somehow gotten out of line and they're going to try to reposition things. It's not going to happen. No good players do that. All good players just send it. They don't interfere with the swing. They set a position in their setup. It's different from maybe the setup position that I teach, but they set a position. And then from there, they have a general sense for the swing. There isn't this micromanagement of the club face and trying to do all this minutia that gets preached that you tend to attach to. No good players do that. They just send it, they don't interfere, and then they look at the shot and they try to make a general adjustment off of that. That's how good players play the game. So I could make a variety of different swings. If I made a variety of swings, every one of those swings, one thing is gonna be the same. I'm not gonna interfere. I'm gonna let the club go based upon my setup position, based upon my grip, based upon how my weight uh, maintains during the swing or whether or not it moves. I could move my legs, I could do all kinds of things during the swing, but I'm not going to interfere with what the club's doing. So check me out here, I'll start from a more traditional position where I'm facing the ball. And then from there, once I set the club in motion, I'm not interfering with it. I'm just letting it go. And I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna find out what happens afterwards. I could swing the club by moving around. I could tell you this, during the swing, I'm not going to interfere with what this thing does. I'm going to let it go. So here, from a more neutral position, and I'll move my legs. I let it go. It's solidly struck. It's a, it's a draw, but it's a little sloppy. It's kind of hard to manage with all that movement. And from that weakened position of neutral. But I just let it go. I could do this too. I'm just letting it go. Once I initiate the club into the swing, I have to trust that everything's gonna work out based upon my setup position. What happens is, is when you trust that everything's gonna be fine and you don't interfere, you have the best chance to hit the best version of the shot that your setup and your skill set could create. That's the truth of the matter. There's, it's never gonna be the case that during the swing you need to interfere with what the club is doing and change it or move it or adjust it. And I, I can tell you this, from my experience, there's been plenty of shots that I've hit and coming into impact, I kind of don't like it. I'm thinking, mm, I don't know, doesn't feel like it's gonna be perfect and I don't interfere, I let it continue on and sure enough, it's a really good shot. Now, had I interfered, I probably would have made some sort of a uh, incorrect, well-intended adjustment that would have caused for a much poorer shot. It immediately makes your shot dispersion go wide when you start to interfere. When you interfere, you already know what happens. All of you interfere. That's the big difference. Pros don't interfere. They have a general sense for the mood of the swing, is how I would describe it, as opposed to saying, I need to be in this position, and then this position, and then at this point I'm going to do this, and then I'm gonna do that. And you might say, well, they don't need to think about all that stuff because they're so good. And there is some truth to that. But how they got so good was by not interfering. So maybe if you stop interfering, you'll have a chance to get much better than you already are. You already know what it's like to interfere. You already know what that creates. Find out what it's like to not interfere and just let it go based upon your setup position, based upon the mood, you know, my mood when I'm hitting shots is I'm trying to stay still. I'm trying to anchor my weight to my lead foot and I'm resisting the hit as I come down into impact. I'm not trying to swing hard. And that allows me to keep my shoulders closed. So once the swing gets set in motion, I let it go. And because my setup position really dictates the movements for the swing, and creates that shallow circular and descending action that anybody wants. If I let it go, I hit really high quality shots.